I was standing on top of Antuco, looking at Veyuda, and suddenly I was like, is this how all of the mountains are going to be chosen for the rest of the trip? Are we just going to see something and say, man, we should ski that? Given the amount of time we had to work with, we knew that we wouldn't be spending a long time in each spot, and we were perfectly okay with that. In my mind, that was kind of the theme of the trip. Where should we ski first? Without any expectations, no matter what we chose, we didn't really know what we were getting into. So even when we did decide what to go to first, it couldn't be wrong. But that first night out of Santiago, as I was huffing the fumes of the semi-truck behind the gas station, I realized that this might not be as easy as we had originally thought. The decision to ski Antuco was, was relatively arbitrary. We, we had so many options that we had to choose something. Way, way far ahead of us was this enormous volcano that just stood like a perfect triangle at the end of the road. Having spent our first cold, mountainous night in this rental van, and I had come to Patagonia thinking that I was spring skiing. So I was pretty confused when I looked out the window and didn't see anything except white. But we brushed the van off, got our ski gear on, and started climbing Antuco just like we have any other volcano. Halfway up Antuco, I knew if I didn't ski anything else on this trip, I could leave happy. And that only lasted a couple more hours until I was standing on the summit of Antuco and I see Sierra Veuda. There is the most insane mountain I've ever seen in Chile back there right now. This is the most beautiful place I've ever skied. This is absolutely insane. I'm freaking out. But as soon as we got down from Antuco, we were drying gear out and looking up at Veuda thinking, okay, how are we going to climb this thing tomorrow? What are we going to eat? And how are we going to ski it? We thought we had understood that Veuda was going to be a 4,500 foot climb and a 4,500 foot ski for a total of a 9,000 foot day. But after 4,500 feet of climbing, we realized that we were only halfway up the mountain. I realized that that was probably the most fun volcano I have ever climbed, and I was really excited to ski down it. We were obeying our 5.30 turnaround time, but we still had 9,000 vertical feet of skiing, a huge glacier, and a valley to cross before we got back to the van. The snow looked consistent, but beneath that one inch of snow on top of the ice, it was really unpredictable. Sierra Veuda was 13 and a half hours, 17 and a half miles, and 9,000 vertical feet of skiing. The common thread of this trip was starting to make itself obvious. We did not know what Patagonia had in store for us, and we did not know what we were getting ourselves into. But that's what I like so much about this. And the fact that our boots smelled bad and we didn't know where we were going next, that just got me more excited.